A close relative to jellyfish, the green sea anemone can be found hanging upside down during low tide being stretched by the power of gravity. If we give it a light touch, we see its defense mechanism where it closes to protect itself from predators and hold in water. Be sure to follow if you love ocean animals. So this crab's holding on to me and he won't let go. And you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm going to be your real estate agent. Let's go look for a good home. How about this one? This is a one bedroom right by the water. You want this one? Go ahead. He's not letting go. He doesn't like this house. How about this one? Yeah, perfect. Shrimp, check. Parasite, check. Gotta lift the gill flap. We're not hurting the shrimp here. We're just raising the gill flap to pull out this invasive parasite. You're a good shrimp. Wait, go. Okay, I'm gonna see what happens if I put this in the water. If you wanna see too, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yo, check out what I just found. It's freezing cold on the Oregon coast, but this is so worth it. This is a bivalve clam fossil, probably close to 20 million years old. Be sure to follow if you love ocean animals. Take a look at this crazy sea animal. People always ask me what it feels like to touch a jellyfish. Jellyfish feel like a soft rubber material and they're always slimy. I wouldn't recommend touching them, but if you do, don't ever touch the bottom and only tap lightly on the top. After the passing of his wife Patty, Herbert decided it was time to find a smaller home by the bay. So I showed him this one bedroom right by the water and he absolutely loved it. I even helped Herbert find a hot new girlfriend. Yo, if you like this video, tap that follow and like button. These little magic mushrooms are known as Amanita muscaria. They contain a highly hallucinogenic compound known as muscamol. And I know what you guys are thinking. They look like cute little cupcakes with a bunch of little sprinkles on top, but they're not. And eating the wrong kind of mushroom could kill you. Okay, cut it. I found this amazing salmon shark on my last trip to the beach. Although it was dead, it was still really cool to examine. If you get the chance to pet a shark, you'll notice it's smooth in one direction and sharp and rigid in the other. Be sure to follow if you love ocean animals. So my dad asked me to pick him up some fishing bait from the store, but I can't just sit here and watch them all die. I'm gonna save two. This male and this female with it. Ow! With eggs. Sorry, Dad. Yo, wait, check this out. I was at the beach after this deadly storm on the Oregon coast and reached my hand into the frigid water and pulled out this amazing 20 million year old clam fossil. I was like, holy macaroni. Be sure to follow for more ocean life videos. This is Bubbles. Bubbles is one of the millions of shrimp that are affected by the Ortheon griffinus isopod parasite. Today we're taking this parasite out of Bubbles so that she can live a happy life. And as you can see on the top, there's another parasite. That's the male, and you can actually take it off. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Look, you can see here, it's two separate parasites. That's disgusting. I'm sending this back to where it belongs. Maybe they can figure out what to do with it, because we can't find a solution here. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow for more ocean life. I found a strand of jellyfish on the beach, so I gently yeeted it back in the water. And after that, why well, just start having really good luck? I found a bunch of these 20 million year old fossils and a giant crystal just laying in the sand. Be sure to follow if you love ocean animals. Hey little crab, you're gonna dry up here in the sun. Come here. Aw, and you're missing a leg too. I still love you, let's go find you a home. Here's a nice shady spot. Go on little buddy. Be sure to follow if you love ocean animals. Pretty sure this crab is passed out drunk. Hey little dude, you all right? Oh my gosh, it's like a statue. Wake up, wake up. No, oh, you were pranking me? Good one. The other day I was just digging in the mud, and I found one of these. A happy little crab. We made eye contact, and then I set him free. Be sure to follow if you love ocean animals.
I found this plastic netting on the beach and put it into a rope net that I found on the beach. Then I found a piece of bull kelp, found the person who left the garbage here, gave him a high five with the bull kelp, found a stranded jellyfish, gave it a proper burial. Be sure to follow if you love ocean animals. I was walking near the beach when I noticed something flapping around in the mud. I went to go investigate and realized it was a baby fish that had got stuck during low tide. I picked it up, made a new home for it, and set it free. Be sure to follow if you love ocean animals.